Hello, welcome back to TMS TV. My name's Paul Harvey, I'm the editor of MNIT, and I'm here with Spencer Brace, who is the Head of Ecosystems and Partnerships at Troop. Welcome to TMS TV, Spencer. Good to have you here. Thanks very much. Thank you. Now, um, can you tell us a little bit about Troop for anyone that doesn't know about you? You're into cost-effective and sustainable meetings, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Well, um, we try to address the, we address the problem in the market today where companies are making decisions on where their meetings are going to be based on opinions. Um, and that's mainly because they don't have the data to support a more informed decision. So we run all the numbers based on their attendees' locations and the destination they're thinking of having it. We also recommend alternative destinations uh, based on cost, emissions, and travel time, as well as any travel friction such as visas and safety issues. And uh, it's amazing how often the place you thought was a good place to meet isn't. <laughs> Over three quarters of the time, currently, wow. we find uh, that there's a better destination. And the okay. level of savings are, in, in today's in environment, you know, quite extraordinary. Uh, we're looking at 25% just for cost wow. alone that uh, people are actually saving. So every million dollars you're spending in uh, meeting spend, uh, 250,000 of that is perhaps being wasted. Wow. So what trends are you seeing from corporate meeting planners at the moment? So I think in the, in the marketplace today, Meetings are kind of done in very different ways by different people and uh, definitely what we find is people are looking for more data to, to make more informed decisions. They don't always know that there's more data out there though. Um, troops have uh, been around now for about five years and companies are discovering us and saying, wow, I wish I'd known about this before because you know this is exactly what I need but didn't realize someone had built it. Uh, so this kind of desire for data to make better, more informed decisions and to have more visibility on this, this important area of the business, which is really off the radar for a lot of people, apart from the bigger events. You know, all these, these small meetings that are taking place, often people don't have a way of data capturing that. So getting visibility of that up front at the point of planning um, is proving to be an incredibly uh, helpful piece of information for companies planning how they're operating, what they're doing, and particularly around sustainability. You know, if they do want to reach their sustainability uh, reduction goals that they've committed yeah. to, they need to know up front what the impact is of a meeting and they can make decisions there rather than finding out about it after the event and it's too late then. Yeah, 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 definitely. So um, how important are hybrid meetings at the moment and what, what, what are Troop doing around <coughs> hybrid meetings? Well, hybrid's interesting. That The whole theme around hybrid, um, we've all gone to work from home and I know we go into the office occasionally um, it depends which company you're working for and and this is driving a, a, a massive expansion in small meetings uh, all the, the the major publications have reported on this um, and you know, you've seen the GBTA American Express GBT talking about it being the fastest growing sector of travel right now yeah uh, because people need to bring together people to collaborate to keep their um, to keep their uh, <clears throat> um, their company ethos together, their culture, and so um, we're finding that uh, that's driving a lot of this uh, um, increase in small meetings. Yeah, no, I mean there, there really has been a, an explosion in small meetings, hasn't there? Um, and, and of course, the people arranging small meetings don't get any support generally because yeah. the spend is maybe ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. So. They need to self-service these, and um, our tool being self-service allows you know a distributed um, workforce to to use it and get great advice. Definitely. So uh, finally, I just wanted to know what the uh, the future holds for uh, for Troop. Well, um, so we've 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 talked a lot about search in this discussion and helping people find the best location. Of course, once they've found out the best location, they want to book. So we're gonna we're, we've always had the vision of of making meetings easy for everyone. So, um, and of course they're not. Uh, so we're looking to extend into booking. Um, and we're looking to provide more informative data in the, um, in the area of um, pl planning as well. Uh, so this month, it being Pride Month, we actually launched an LGBTQ map layer on our tool, which okay. allows you to see the safety level for LGBTQ community wow. by country. Um, which is, you know, incredibly That's a really powerful. valuable tool. Yeah, and that's just something so obvious and easy to do, but yeah. um, not been done before. Um, moving into the booking, we'll then be able to enable this fulfillment and that full visibility for both planner and traveler on what's going on. So you and I arrive at the same time, we can share a taxi and that can be coordinated as opposed to not happening or happening by luck. 
Yeah. And, and then finally, we want to complete that last mile by helping people have fantastic meetings in the locations they planned by connecting them with local experts in the markets. So we're building out a network of local experts that you'll be able to reach out to through the tool to find that fantastic hidden gem of a restaurant that you can have an amazing meal at after a hard day sort of meeting wow. or that team building activity that you'd never even considered. Yeah, and that's exactly the kind of thing that delegates want to do, isn't it? Yeah, make yeah. it memorable. Yeah. Well, it all sounds fantastic. And thank you very much for joining me uh, on TMS TV, Spencer. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Thanks a lot.